Let's start by creating solid and we're going to be using fractal noise for this example. Let's stretch the noise. Our goal here is to have directional noise. You can actually do that by rotating the layer itself, so giving any direction to the fractal noise. But you see it rotates the entire layer with the border itself, which creates these gaps. You can fill up these gaps by scaling, but it's a little bit scuffed but it gets job done uh, sure you can do this but i prefer different way you see fractal noise has rotation actually if we put this on default you can see it rotates properly but once we scale it the stretch it the rotation doesn't work the same way because we are stretching the noise with rotation so the rotation doesn't apply on top of the stretch this is how it works. The question I asked myself was how can I rotate the noise but at the same time rotate the resolution back to zero again. So let's say we have 30 here and I want to kind of like do like minus 30 on the resolution without affecting fractal noise. We're going to be using effect transform. Now if we do rotation here it's going to be the same. It rotate, rotates the entire thing. The benefit of using effect is that we can actually put it behind fractal noise and do minus 30. As you can see, we fixed the thing. This transform rotates the noise itself to 30 degrees. So this thing, you can see it affects only solid. And now we can fix this by putting this on 30. Basically neutralizing the angle. Now you notice if you want to control this you will have to do this manually every time but you can actually rig it by if you double click on first transform rotation and then i will just attach this one here you will see it will change number because yeah we just parented basically the parameter but because we need it to be negative we just put minus before expression so every time i rotate this it will give me the same number but negative so it will be rotated like this and at last, you can actually remove this one if you don't want, and you can just connect the first transform to rotation of the layer and do the same with minus. Yeah, so now you see it works the same way. Up to you. I just prefer using effects so I don't touch original rotation just in case I need to attach it to something, etc. That would be it. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.